going on everybody this is Woody and it's Sunday I'm about to make a solo trip to Paris Island because I got a late start and I don't want to ride all the way to Jackson Island today but uh maybe some other time so we're gonna see what we can get on today the tide is kind of messed up it's gonna be a high tide all day so we're gonna see what we can do anyway probably get on some sheeps more than likely all right talk to y'all later hey what's up y'all all right before we start fishing I'm gonna go over some of my uh, tackle and uh, what I'll be using today all right first thing is this used to be my sheep's head pole but i made it to my uh popping court for trout and uh reds shakespeare kids fishing rod so i'm going to be uh got some braid on there about 20 pound braid for that and i also have my pin spish, spin fisher four on an ugly stick on the gx2 ugly stick and with a sinker and a sheep's head hook owner. I'll be using that for sheep's heads. I gotta fix that right there. Next, I have another GX2 ugly stick from Walmart for $50. Got that, put uh, about 40 pound braid on it, or 30, one of those. And this will be my bottom rig. And I got another bottom rig, which is an ugly stick GX2. Got from Walmart, about $44 for that one. And now we're gonna go over, of course, the bait. Okay, I'm gonna have uh, filler crabs right there. Sheep head hooks, owner with super needle point, size one. Trout hooks, size four, owner hooks. And top and bottom rig, comes with two hooks, already made up, just put a sinker on it and tie it to your line. Got it from Walmart for like a dollar and 40 something cents. Got gulp natural shrimp three eight inches and eight centimeters six count we got nuclear chicken gulp six count three inches eight centimeters and we also have pearl white chartreuse gulp shrimp three eight inches eight centimeters and got some two ounce sinkers and also got some frozen uh sand fleas for, for uh sheep's head got these from walmart and also got a ruler and some scissors. So I got shrimp, dead shrimp in the, uh, got dead shrimp in the cooler. And that's all I'll be using today. So we'll see what we get. All right, these are the dead shrimp. Got them like a 550 a pound. So I'm gonna have to cut, I cut, usually cut these up for whiting. So that's what we're gonna go first. We're gonna try for whiting and see if we get a couple of those and maybe some trout, see what we do. And black drum. Today is a bad day of fishing here, so I'm going to go ahead and try a different spot. That's a small one. Nothing but babies catching them, but nothing but babies back here. No big ones yet. All right, y'all, got a nice red. Oh, he's gonna take a lot of not get him taken up the line. Don't take a look my other line. Bring it in. You don't tangle up in it. Okay, right here. Oh. Nice little red right there. All right, 
right there. Check it out. Sit the light down. Take your hook out. Nice red right there. Let's go ahead and put them back in the water. He's way over. That's all. That's a lot right there. Yep, that's a slot. Shrimp, dead shrimp on the popping court. Take it off. Nice boy right there. Beauty. So this is how I'm hooking my dead shrimp with the tail still on it. Take off the shell off the body. Yeah. Look like a slot right here. Oh, damn, I don't want to get all muddy. Yeah, we're catching white. Tide's starting to come back in. Go white. Just got another white on the line. Bring them in. Nice size one. Pretty, not that all that, but pretty good. Another white and coming in. It's getting dark. Got a few minutes left. This is a nicer size right here. Got a little bit of meat on them. Thank you. 